It is a place where laughter is shared, memories are made, and recipes are handed down. Hello, I'm Susan Peters, coming up on the family dinner table. We're gonna be learning about two popular Lebanese recipes you'll want to add to your cookbook. A fatouche chicken salad and chicken shawarma. Joining me will be author and chef Ilham Saad, who has published a Lebanese cookbook. Learn about this delicious Lebanese meal and more on this episode of The Family Dinner Table on PBS Kansas. The Family Dinner Table is made possible in part by the following. Ketotarian food. What is it? It's a plant-based spin on a traditional keto diet, and it doesn't have to be hard. With our Simple Truth keto-friendly lineup, we've got you covered throughout your day. We have tasty snacks, filling lunches, yummy desserts, and even plant-based patties like this for chow without the cow. It's Neato with Keto, Tarian Food. Learn more about our low-carb, high-protein, Simple Truth products at Dillon's.com. Offering more than 60 brands to choose from. Refrigeration, dishwashers, cooking and laundry, to outdoor appliances and grills. Metro Appliances and more has something for every need and every budget. In store or online, Metro Appliances and more. The Spice Merchant since 1980, Wichita's original gourmet coffee roaster. Coffee and tea from around the world. Enjoy our full line of functional and fun accessories. Located four blocks east of Washington on Douglas. McClelland is a proud sponsor of PBS Kansas, specializing in theater quality audio and video, cinematic lighting, smart home integration, and seamless surveillance, all in the comfort of your home. More information can be found at MacSound.com. The Culinary Arts Program at Butler Community College, where foods of the world, cooking techniques, and exceptional learning create 100% job placement rates for students. Changing lives through cooking. More at butlercc.edu. ABC Fine Wines and Spirits offers a unique winery experience, sophisticated and complex bourbons, and a wide variety of beers. More information at abcdiscountliquor.com. Hello, I'm Susan Peters. Welcome to the family dinner table. As you know, Wichita is home to a very large Lebanese community. I'm one of them. And Wichita has its fair share of Mediterranean restaurants. So many in our area have probably ordered a fatouche salad or chicken shawarma, but you may not know how to make it on your own. Don't you wanna know how to make chicken shawarma at your own home? I have the answer. I have with me author and chef Ilham Saab. She has published a Lebanese cookbook that is really a good Lebanese cookbook because the recipes are very simplified, it's, Yes. which sometimes it's very hard cooking Lebanese food or time consuming, I should say. That's true. Thank you so much for being here, Ilham. You're welcome. Really appreciate you Glad being here. Glad to be here. And Thank if you, you don't know yet, Ilham and her beautiful husband used to own Biblos on the west side of town. Mm -hmm. It was um, a deli on the west side of town. All home-cooked Lebanese recipes. You had your grape leaves, your cabbage rolls, your... Meat pie, spinach pie. Meat uh, pie, spinach pie. Tabbouleh, fatouche. <coughs> Tell me about Biblos. You were in... Okay. Uh, we uh, opened Biblos 1990 mm -hmm. after my husband had his kidney transplant. Yeah. And uh, this is the first time I go out and work. So, and always I dream about Lebanese restaurant because first I came in the state 1979, there is nothing. There were no Lebanese restaurants in 79. There is a few, but they are like uh, Americanized. It's not really traditional. Right. And uh, always I told my husband to stay one day in my life, I'm going to open a restaurant and show people what the real Lebanese food is. And my dream come true. And then, uh, you know, we open uh, our first restaurant and it's have only five table, 10 chairs. Mm -hmm. Because I was scared. I don't know what I'm expecting. 
And uh, guess it, what? Those five <laughs> tables filled up very, you remember, very you remember quickly. That. Absolutely. Yeah. So, it became famous on the west side of yes. town and known for just like yeah. home cooking. The thing I like about uh, Ilham's Lebanese cooking, it tastes like my grandmother. My my grandmother, mm -hmm. it tastes exactly like my grandmother, my Lebanese grandmother You know, grandmother I have open kitchen and people, they can walk in, they can see me cooking and welcoming everybody. And we sure miss it. Biblos had to close about, what, three or four Six years, years ago? Six, Six years, years ago. ago, yeah. I tell you what, we sure do miss it. Tell me about your cookbook because you have a lot of pictures of your family yeah, in there. You Was know, this always a family affair? Yeah, you know what it is like after I sold my business and I was sitting thinking about, okay, what's now? Mm -hmm. Friend of mine, Janet Summers, God bless her, she said, what are you doing now? I said, oh, nothing, I'm bored. She said, no, you have work to do. I said, what? She said, we're gonna write the cookbook. I have all my recipe written because right. I love to sit and write recipes. And she helped me put the book together and the support from her and my family, my book is born. Now your family, you would gather, I mean, you, you yes. cooked in the restaurant, yes. but you also cooked at home. Tell me about your family meals. Okay, like Susan called me, said, uh, oh, I'm coming to visit you. I said, okay, and she comes, but she doesn't like just come to have coffee. I have to have something on the table. Right. So I'll tell him start cooking. Always I have two, three meals on my table. And this is my nature. And my daughters, they tell me, my mom doesn't know where she stopped. No. And Gracie have to tell me, enough is in. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing about so, Lebanese cooking is when you have two or three things on the table, yes. they're main dishes. Yes. Like, they're what Americans would call main dishes. Yes. I mean, my grandmother used to make three or four main dishes. You'd have the kibbeh, you'd have the, the rolled kibbe, cabbage, the grape leaves, the, the cabbage grape leaves. roll, meat pie, I'm, tabbouleh, hummus, baba ganoush. And it would take you all day, wouldn't it? Or two days? To me, it'd take me about two hours. <laughs> Is that all? Is that all? <laughs> you know, my daughter, that's what she told me. She said, my mom doesn't know where she stops. Yeah. So. And you, you taught your, I enjoy your girls cooking. who all oh, live yes, here. Yes, thank and God. The, I have five daughters and all married, thank God. All of them, you know. There, uh, you know, I have two in Chicago, one in Kansas City, and two here. All of them, they're good cook. Very good cooks. And yes, mm -hmm. yes. And you you gather them around the family dinner yes, table. Yes, yes. Now, like, when when they were young, and you gathered around the family dinner table, what was that like? What what did you, you know? Mean? My husband always he loved when he sit and eat. Always he have the kids around him. Yeah. And then, uh, then he start asking them, how was your day? What did you do today? What, uh, you know, how was the, you, you know, the day uh, was during the school, you know, yeah. or at work yeah. or, so he always like, they, they miss their dad because they always talk to him. They do. More than me because than I'm you. at work. Well, and you're in the, the kitchen. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. And then, uh, like a crazy mm -hmm. <laughs> on our mm -hmm. table, mm -hmm. like talking, screaming, <laughs> yelling, and then, you know, <laughs> our nature, I'm sorry, like we talk with our hands and then and we talk we in loud yell. voice. <laughs> we, we, we talk in a loud voice sometimes. Yeah, we are very, uh, we love people, we, mm -hmm. uh, we love hospitality and then mm -hmm. We welcome everybody. We make like, when you come to my house the first time, you always welcome to my home. Yeah. And uh, it happened to me so many times, yeah. so. Well, the, your tradition lives on in your cookbook. And yes. now it's going to live on through this little yeah. show we're you making. Know, to be honest with you, main thing, I did my cookbook for the grandkids. So this is, this is a way to carry on yeah. the family dinner table tradition. Yes. So All hoping. right, so we're going to make two of Wichita's favorites. Okay. Chicken shawarma and chicken yes. for two salads. Yes. So I'm let's get over and okay. start cooking. Okay. So here we are in the kitchen with my favorite Lebanese chef, Ilham Saad. So let's start with the chicken okay. shawarma. And what do we, 
It's pretty okay. easy, right? It's very easy. You okay, get now, the pan, you're, okay. and then heat it up, please. Okay, let's turn this on. Okay, and no uh, oil, now, nothing. What do you use? Do you use chicken breast? So I use or? a chicken breast, and then some people, if they doesn't like white meat, they can use, uh, you know, uh, boneless uh, thigh. Thigh? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, the boneless thigh. Yes. Okay, now, you're so gonna, I have a marinate the... I have a pound of chicken breast. A pound of chicken breast, and we're going to marinate And then that marinate with it with the chicken spices, which is, I have it. spices. Yes. Now, whoops, I'm sorry. What are in the shawarma spices? It's uh, cinnamon, allspice, pepper, salt, paprika. Now, if somebody like spicy food, they can add cayenne pepper, but Lebanese people doesn't like right. spicy food. So you can add cayenne pepper. Yes. And you can buy the spice all put together, the chicken yes. at any Middle Eastern yeah. store you buy it around it's all, here, right? Yeah, there is a lot of Middle Eastern uh, uh, stores, grocery stores, and then I put like about one tablespoon of olive oil. Okay. And then, I'm sorry, I do without measuring, what is this? but... This is vinegar, white oh, I didn't vinegar. Oh, you put vinegar in. Oh yeah, you just put regular vinegar. white vinegar. Yes. Okay. Yes. And, and salt. A little bit salt. Yes. And pepper. And that's it. And then we. That's it. I have everything in it. So this is it. This that's is it. chicken shawarma. This is the and secret. <laughs> you can buy the spices uh -huh. at any Middle Eastern store, or you can we make have your own. We have a lot. Yes. But you're gonna put on the KPTS website. Every spice that's in there. Yes. Right? So yes. people can make their own if they of want. Of course. Correct? Of course. Yes. Okay, now what do we do this with the pan heat here? Yes. Okay. Oh, don't we put any olive oil in here? No. I put already. Oh, in here? Yes. Oh, yeah. So then we heat the pan, yeah. uh, the skillet a little bit, and then we put the. And this in. one, it takes about 10 minutes to make. About 10 minutes. And then the time you do your salad, the chicken is done, and then you can add up on your top of salad or you can make a sandwich. Oh. So, while this is cooking, and we put it on medium or high, or let's see. Uh, medium low, good. huh? This is good. Yes. Okay, so this is browning now. The yes. chicken's browning, and, and we I come over here. here. And okay. For two salad. It's very easy to make. Now, what kind of lettuce do you use? Okay, I use half uh, romaine and half iceberg. And I like half the iceberg. taste of it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because so, the iceberg makes it crunchy. Yes. The romaine has more nutrition. Yes. Correct? Yes. Okay. And then so, we this have is a green onion. Green onions. So I have like about a head of uh, lettuce and I put like a half cup of a green half onion. Half a cup of green onions. And then I, if you like pepper, I have green and red. You can add any colors if you want. Green it and red pepper. It gives it really nice uh, Oh, you have nice to have colors. pepper in, in oh, yes. to salad, don't you? And tomatoes. Beautiful. As much as you like to put. I mean, you can you can do anything. I mean, yes. You can, then you put the okay. The now these are Lebanese cucumbers. Yes. Correct? Yeah. It's now the Persian cucumber. Persian cucumber. And then radishes. Now before you do the radishes. Okay, go ahead. What? Do the radishes. Uh -huh. But I want to talk about the Persian cucumber. Persian cucumber. It's very well known in Lebanon. It's like we call baby cucumber. They're babies. Yes. They taste to me so much better That's true. than our American cucumbers. That's true. Don't they? Yes. Boy, this smells good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I have sumac. This is that, uh, the secret ingredients. Lots of people doesn't know what sumac is. I remember first I was um, using sumac. One customer walked in, he said, oh, using poison sumac. Because here in the United States, they have poison sumac. I said, no, this is uh, eatable. That's okay. we eat, we use it with all uh, our food almost. Can you spell that for me? S U M A C. S sumac. Oh, sumac. Okay, yeah. sumac. Okay. Yeah. And you can buy sumac. Yes. At the grocery store. Oh yeah. Too. Oh yeah. And not the grocery store. Middle Eastern. Oh, the Middle Eastern yes. store. Okay. So I put about one tablespoon. A tablespoon yes. of sumac. Sumac. Okay. And this is dry mint from my garden. So uh, we put the uh, Okay, if any of you know anything about growing mint, all you have to do is plant that much. Yes. And it and spreads spread. every, I grow it every year. I tell you the best smell ever. Oh, you, if you and can And this smell is a this. lemon juice. That's another then, secret to yes. the two salad, <laughs> is lemon juice, correct? You know, what's about Lebanese food? Like, you can add 
uh, but you can take out as much as you want. Some people, they like it lemony, they like it salty. You add as much as you like. I like the lemon. So, now, my husband is not a big lemon person. Really? No, but I like a lot of lemon and in my salad. And this is olive oil from Lebanon. My, uh, it's from Lebanon. My, my son-in-law, he's from North Lebanon, so he brings his own olive oil. So I cover it that way, nobody sees yeah. it. <laughs> That's so cool. His family, they have uh, fields of... Uh, now, would you suggest any olive oil, or would you suggest oh, yeah, getting the, the olive oil okay. from a Middle Eastern market? Uh, or can no, you just there buy is it good the olive store? oil in the grocery there store, is. but the main thing to look at the cold press. Cold press, it's the first time they press the olive oil, which is, uh, it's cold press, which cold is, it's press. not heated at all. Now we... Uh, okay, this is the best part about the patootie And then salad. you toast all, uh, pita bread. The pita now how bread, do you toast the pita bread? Really, you can toast it in the oven, but you don't have to warm your oven. Put each loaf, open it up, put it in the microwave on 80 to 90 seconds. You're and you have yeah. On high? Yeah. And it'll toast like that? Yes. This? It'll get crunchy. Just like that, it toasted. Your pita bread, you buy at the grocery store? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. No, you buy it from a uh, Middle Eastern grocery store. Oh, I'm sorry, store. Middle yes. Eastern grocery store. <laughs> yeah. You can't find good pita bread at the grocery store. Oh, you store. can't? No, no, I no. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm stirring the chicken here. <laughs> So what Perfect. you do? Perfect. Go ahead and you, so what you do with the pita bread? So simple. Yes. And people think it's not. Is and you don't put any oil, yes. nothing. Just open the pita bread. This pita bread we got it from uh, the bakery here in town. And then every day in the grocery stores, uh, Middle Eastern grocery stores. So we open it like that, and you put it in the uh, it microwave. A no, no, not plate. Oh, just put it in the microwave. In microwave like that, and then 80 to 90 seconds, and it's On done. High. Mm -hmm. Isn't that easy? It's done. Oh, that's great. Do you want that to try it if we need the? No, we we have to try it later. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what you're saying because you want to know if there's enough salt, yes. enough lemon juice. Well. We better just assume that there is. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here and you we can go. put more lemon juice in there because I like a lot of lemon Here juice. Here we go. We're oh, done. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and more mint too. I think we need a little more mint. I like okay. a lot of mint in there too. Here we go. So there we so go. So we're making fatouche on Susan's taste today. <laughs> <laughs> on Susan. <laughs> On, so I love her accent. On Susan's taste today. Right? Today, yes. <laughs> okay, now tell me okay. about that. Okay, so we're gonna save this over here. Okay, do you mind to, the dish, to dish some here? Yeah. Put some here to okay. put the... Oh, so, cause we're gonna put the chicken on top. Yes. Oh, I see. Yes. I see, okay. This chicken's almost done too? Yes. So it doesn't take long? Maybe no. five, 10 minutes to do the chicken? Yeah. It's 10 minutes and that's it. And that's it. Mm -hmm. So all you, don't you do... want it. you don't want that chicken to be like rubbery, you know? And then if you want, you can get whole breast, boneless and skinless right. breast. Marinate the same way I did and put them in the oven. And then it takes like about 30 to 35 minutes and it's done. And, it's and then done. you can slice it. And marinate it with the shawarma seasoning. Yes. yes. And then you can put it on top and yes, slice. This is done. Okay, that is so cool. Okay. Now look at this beautiful salad. And we're gonna put we're gonna make the chicken shawarma two ways. On top of the salad, the fatou salad, and also a chicken shawarma sandwich. Yes. As well, right? Now look at how beautiful this is. And then some people, they like feta cheese. You may add feta cheese. Some I like people... my feta cheese. Okay. I love I'm my feta cheese to bring on here. Some. <laughs> don't you like traditional, feta cheese on Traditional some? Lebanese people, they doesn't put feta cheese They don't on put it. feta cheese. So, so we put feta cheese here because uh, lots of American people love cheese. The American so, people love yeah. the cheese. So, so this is the fatou salad. Okay, like I said, we're gonna make two things here chicken shawarma salad and then now let's make the chicken shawarma sandwich which is what everybody orders all the time okay. including my husband and for that we have the pita bread we have that you pita talked bread. about yes and you open it up like we have this. to open it up yes pita bread always opens up because there's two sides to the mm -hmm. pita bread and right? then you have a choice either you use lettuce or use parsley oh. traditional one we use parsley but and you can then, use lettuce And too. you can use lettuce. Or you can use a combination of lettuce yes. and parsley, right? Then we put onion. Then you put the onions on the, on the mm -hmm. sandwich. And tomatoes. 
Oh, and you put the tomato, so it's almost like the salad, but yes, it's in a pocket. Yes, you're right. It's chicken shawarma in a yes. pocket. Okay, and then you just like put it on here. How uh -huh. beautiful is that? And then I forgot my sauce. I'm sorry. You can put tahini sauce or you can put the uh, tzatziti sauce, which is a uh, Greek sauce. Which you is can, the like the the like traditional the tahini sauce. Uh, tzatziti. Ziti. Uh, yeah. What is ziti sauce? The ziti sauce, which is uh, the one we use in gyros. Okay. It's yogurt based on it's yogurt. yogurt. Yeah. Right. Right. Yogurt. Oh, you're talking about yogurt and mint. And, and mint. Yes. yes. You can use that. You can use that. Or you can your... use uh, that and or the tahini. sandwich. The tahini. It's made of sesame seeds. Right. Right. Yeah. And when you make the sauce for the sandwich. You, you put tahini sauce, you put lemon and garlic. And garlic, yeah. gotcha. So here we have chicken shawarma sandwich, chicken shawarma salad, and ta-ta-da-da, hold okay. it up a little bit. Hold it up a little bit. The two uh, Wichita favorite Lebanese foods. We're gonna cut this in half, and we're gonna plate this, and Ilham mm. and I get to eat it. <laughs> Let's eat. So here we are to eat our fatouche salad with chicken with, and our chicken shawarma sandwich, two of Wichita's favorites. Now, the thing I like about this, that hardly took us any time to make. Yeah, it's so, so easy. People can do it at home. That's true. That time, you know, and that chicken, when you marinate it, you can marinate it up to a week in the refrigerator. And when you come from work, just warm up your pan and then put it. Uh, You're kidding. So yeah. you can. Cut can, the yes. raw meat. Yes. Put it in a container. Marinate, marinate it, it with the it chicken in your refrigerator. It lasts spices. for over a week. And then anytime you come, you need something to eat. Just put some in the okay. pan, and uh, here we to go. Here we go. And then you can do the beef the same way. Oh, that's right, beef shawarma. Beef the same way. So beef shawarma is much the it's same thing. It's top round. You use top round. You two use top yes, round. Yes, and okay. marinated, and then marinate uh, it with the same kind of the spices. The same thing. Though. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you can make beef shawarma, beef or chicken, chicken shawarma, yes. and go from there. Yes. And you can make a beef shawarma or a chicken shawarma sandwich. All right. Now we put some of the chicken on top of the salad. And there we go with that. And this is very healthy meal. It's very and healthy, yes, isn't it? Yes. I mean, it whether is. you make it with beef or chicken, beef it's or healthy. chicken, yes. And then it's very healthy meal. And if you and want a little carb, yeah, carbohydrate. And then, like now, everybody, out. like all the doctors, dietitian, they tell you, go look for Middle Eastern rest, uh, restaurants or Middle Eastern food, and this is the healthiest food for you. And it's the healthiest. Yeah. So this one, like you, as you see, like just have a little bit of olive oil, and that's it. And it's protein. And then protein, yes, yes. And greenery. And the green. This is the I best mean, dish ever. Okay, so let's taste. Let's taste our chicken shawarma salad. Oh my goodness. What? What is that good spice I'm tasting on the, the spice chicken? Spice you're tasting, it's uh, cinnamon. And you wouldn't think you cinnamon on chicken, but you know, Lebanese we use cinnamon. Cook with cinnamon. Yes, we use cinnamon, all spice and pepper. That's in it. In all our food, it's the only three spices, the main spices in our food. Are the cinnamon, all spice, yeah. and pepper? Mm -hmm. And you can taste that cinnamon. And I know you put the cinnamon in the beans and rice. Yes, you put in cinnamon everything. in the okra. Because being uh, cinnamon, it takes like the uh, it give it a good taste. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, like one time, I was reading about cinnamon, which is they're saying that uh, it will take like that. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Antioxidants? No. Uh, no, no, it's not about that. Like it give a good taste to that chicken. Oh, okay. And then uh, it take it like brings that, out uh, the flavor. Th yes, the mm -hmm. flavor. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the beef, the same thing. And then this, the main three spices we use in our cooking. Good. So this is so. I know there very, is something. I remember good. first I came here, start cooking, and people said cinnamon. We know cinnamon here, they use it for desserts. Baking. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, back home, they use it for, uh, right. you know, what's cooking. Yeah. We use a lot in, 
And your daughters make Lebanese food? Yes, they all do. of them, they cook. They're really actually good cooks. Are they good cooks? Yes. Like their mama? Oh, yes. Yes, <laughs> yeah. They, all of them, you know, they grow up in Biblos and... Uh, right. They grow right. up, and when I opened the restaurant, you know, Gracie was two year old, the baby. Really? And Nelly was 10 year old. And then they were really my right hand all the time. They work with me in the restaurant and they help me, especially when they're dead, they're very sick. Right. So they, they have to come and help me all the time. So I thank you so yeah. much. Okay, we're gonna have Ilham back to make like cabbage rolls and kibbeh. I love And the to. complicated Lebanese food. Yeah. But these are Wichita's favorites, the fattoush salad and the chicken shawarma. Yeah, it's very popular. Everybody like, uh, they love this food, especially like their, some of them, their dieting. Right. I said, oh, we need something light, light. and not heavy mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. easy, and that's what they like to yeah. eat. And it um, was like number one dish in my restaurant. Okay, so this was the number one dish in your restaurant, yes. people? Really? Yes. They See, love Wichita's this food. favorite. Yes. Wichita's favorite. Um, can we drink to Kamal? Yes, of course. Kamal went to heaven. 12 years ago. 12 years ago. Yes. But he's the one who started all this Lebanese yeah. cooking at Biblos, and it just kind of spread to more of Wichita, mm -hmm. and Wichita really grasped and loves the Lebanese cooking. Yes. So I so appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you for having to me. To Kamal, uh -huh. who, as yes. Ilham said, mm -hmm. gathered his family around the dinner table yes. almost every night. Yeah, uh, not almost, you know, but at least once a week. At least once, once a week. Once a week. I would encourage you all to gather your family around the dinner table it's at very least important. once a week. Very important. Very important. Because kids, they will have memory. The grandkids, they will have memory. Ilham and I advise you to gather around the family dinner table as much as you can, once or twice a week, because we just want to remind you, when families come together around the dinner table, families come together. Yes. Thank you so much and for being here, And life is too short. Life's too short. Yes. Thank you. Ilham. To have uh, memories for the families. Have yeah. the memories for Thank the family. Thank you. The family dinner table is made possible in part by the following. Ketotarian food. What is it? It's a plant-based spin on a traditional keto diet, and it doesn't have to be hard. With our Simple Truth keto-friendly lineup, we've got you covered throughout your day. We have tasty snacks, filling lunches, yummy desserts, and even plant-based patties like this for chow without the cow. It's Neato with Keto, Tarian Food. Learn more about our low-carb, high-protein Simple Truth products at Dylan's.com. Offering more than 60 brands to choose from, refrigeration, dishwashers, cooking and laundry, to outdoor appliances and grills, Metro Appliances and more has something for every need and every budget. In store or online, Metro Appliances and more. Coffee, tea, and spices from around the world. Always unique, always the spice merchant. Located in the original 1908 Mentholatum building, just four blocks east of Washington on Douglas. McClellan Sound is a proud sponsor of PBS Kansas, specializing in designing sound and video systems specific for your commercial needs. More information can be found at MacSound.com. The Culinary Arts Program at Butler Community College, where foods of the world, cooking techniques, and exceptional learning create 100% job placement rates for students. Changing lives through cooking. More at butlercc.edu. ABC Fine Wines and Spirits offers a unique winery experience, sophisticated and complex bourbons, and a wide variety of beers. More information at abcdiscountliquor.com.